One of the most cunning adversaries Britain's pest controllers face is the bed bug. They may be small, but their bites cause great discomfort. Trouble is, they live on human blood. Today, Dagenham pest controller Pete isn't going to have any nonsense from these vampires. All right, mate, pest control. Pete is taken upstairs to the main bedroom where the tenants and their young baby have been sleeping. So, where was your main problem? Underneath the bed. Yep, the OK. Yeah, along the seams. Just the natural places, yeah, yeah where you're going to find them. As ever, Pete has a plan. What we're going to do, I'm going to collect them, as many as I can, mm -hmm. and then I'll come in, kit up, and then we'll spray the whole room, OK, okay for you. Okay. We'll crack on and see what we can get. Right, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate as many bed bugs as I can by collecting them with a bit of sellotape and putting them in a bag, then sending them away, being incinerated. First, we've got to find them. Pete needs to remove the mattress to take a closer look. And if you have a look here, you can actually see the actual blood spots where the bed bugs are being. As in any battle, it helps to know your enemy. The way they prey on people is through carbon dioxide. So when you're breathing out the carbon dioxide, that's how they transmit you and find you at, at, at night. So basically, this is the end of the bed. That is the head end of the bed. You're going to have more activity up the head, head end of the bed. Obviously, where they're going to be hidden all in these slats here. Once we undone, do some of these, you will see bed bugs in them. After the mattress has been removed, hey presto, got one of the blighters. So what I'm going to do is get a bit of sellotape now and collect these the best I can. And the easiest way is basically where they are, just literally put it on top of them and pick them up. I've asked him how much he's been bit and he's, been, he's more the baby been bit more than anything, uh, which is obviously it's sweeter blood, believe it or not. The skin's softer, so they, they find it easier to penetrate to get the blood. Pete has decided to take direct action straight away. He doesn't want the bugs to live any longer than necessary. If you just spray them, it's going to take roughly two days, most probably, to kill them. Uh, plus, they're going to bite the person tonight. So, if we can collect as many as we can, it's less for them to get bit. To carry out his plan, Pete has to dismantle the bed piece by piece. In Dagenham, pest controller Pete is battling the bed bugs. He's dismantled the bed so he can kill as many of the blighters as possible before he fumigates. Sticky tape is the secret weapon. What I'm doing is going along and seeing the ones I can literally physically see. He has to be vigilant. It's the tiny ones that pose the biggest problem. The ones which are small are the ones basically have not fed on you and due for a feed. They can actually take seven times their own body weight of blood a night. A satisfyingly sticky end. Pete can now nip downstairs and get the insecticide to finish them all off. What we're going to do is quickly go for a spray now, and hopefully that solves his problem. A breath of air and a bit of sunshine. I've been in the Seychelles, actually. As you can see the colour, well, nice and brown. With sunnier climbs brought to mind, Pete returns to the bedroom and spots a possible source of the infestation. They may have brought more back from their holidays than they bargained for. This is always what I check. <coughs> I asked anyone if they go on holiday, they all turn around and say, no, no, no. It's been Dubai. Generally, they all come abroad on the luggage and then they just stay in the fold or they put them up in the clothes, they fold their clothes up, they pull it in the suitcase and then they brought them in. Snug in his protective suit and mask, Pete can now fumigate the whole room with insecticide, which will remain active for some weeks. The room will be safe once the insecticide has dried. After spraying the whole room, Pete declares victory over the bed bugs. That's Bella. No matter with that. But he'll be back in three weeks' time to check that they really have been defeated. Since the filming of the show, Pete celebrates a triumph in his battle against the bugs. <laughs>